I lied, I didn't take my breakfast yet. I just went straight on through. Shipping is done, a great, great feeling. 9.57 a.m. They say it's, uh, what is it, well-oiled. Also very hungry. So here we go. One of the best feelings of the week is right now, knowing my shipping is done for Monday after a huge, huge sales. Not the best, the biggest, but very, very good. What I need every single week to do this so awesome so at 10 a.m. before I head up for breakfast this is where we're at about 2,500 parts needed to hit back to 300,000 so looking good all right my final rebuilds are completed Got eight eight out of the ten Star Wars I think I put um, this one in there don't I have a torso and I'd need a head for Obi-Wan. And yeah, the rest are rebuilt. So. And it is 1140. I'm just going to get these relisted and figure out what I'm going to do next. All right, I decided I'm going to do something with this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this to my desk and figure out what that something is for now. All right, these are all the identified CMFs. Uh, it's, I didn't identify them. I know this one isn't. It looks like the Series 1 Spaceman, but it's not. It goes actually to the Prince from an advent calendar for Castle. 2010, maybe. Um, but I can definitely tell most of them are, so... This is the Evil Knievel guy. Dual-sided head. Daredevil, I guess, is it Series 7. And this is fake. I always... I, I got a fake one of these before, and I always think it's fake when I see it. This one's not. It looks good. Um, just because I've seen that one and it was really good to just yeah you just remember those some things it's weird but let me get to see what I can do with this I'm gonna put some of this away I don't know if that's CMF or not I don't think that is I want to say maybe um, anyway so I got 12 drawers out it's gonna get pretty crowded with a bunch of yellow heads in each one so once I notice there's maybe five or six, seven different heads in one drawer, I'll probably put them away and get diff different ones out because I don't want too many of the yellow heads in the same drawer. All right, so I had to go one by one, just find any duplicates. So I just did that. Um, that's the Easter Bunny guy that's not a CMF actually, and that's the Abraham, the new one, Lincoln from the Lego Movie 2. So those are kind of off to the side at this point. And uh, all these I identified were not CMF or I'm not sure, like this one, I. Not even sure. I don't think I remember seeing that. Um, I want to say it was maybe in the build a minifig station, but I'm not even sure. That's the Kingdom's blacksmith head. And so this is the one I was talking about here, these two. This, I believe, is a Series 1 Spaceman, and then this one is the Prince. This one has the thicker eyebrows, more of a smirk on this side. It kind of looks similar. I've purchased this one multiple times and get this one a lot. So check that when <laughs> you think you're listing it. He's got the, the smiles up on the other side. So anyway, um, I get comments if people like to know how I know everything or I can see it. Uh, series 5 Cave Woman, Series 5 Gangster, uh, Series 17 with the French Bulldog guy. I don't want to say his name. Series 6 Bandit, uh, the Series 8 DJ. I think this is Series 6 Highland. I know it's the Highlander Battler, but I'm not sure it's Series. Series 7 Evil Knight. Series 8 Businessman. Series 10 Baseball Fielder. Series 12 Prospector. Series 11 Mountain Climber. Series 5 Snowboard Guy. Series 7 Jungle Boy. Series 2 Downhill Skier. Series 3 or 7. Series 7 Tennis Ace. Oh, Series 6 Mechanic? No, this is a welder. Series 11 welder. The mechanic's here, too. This is Series 6 Mechanic. Um, series 3 Race Car Driver. Series 7 Grandma Visitor, but it also goes on other stuff. Tennis, or this is the Fitness Structure Series 5. Series 1 Ninja. Uh, I think this is Series 3 Baseball Player. 
Series 4 Musketeer, and you get the point. Oh, here's Ralph. There he is, Series 8 Conquistador. So by knowing all that information, all I do, I literally, the first thing I just leave in here is series. Well, I, I probably just type it every time. Always put series when you know you're looking for something. And like, I'm gonna look up this rogue guy. Ooh, I'm dropping some. So I, I see how I have his head right here, which is right here. And so this tells me if there's, no, if there's a one right here, that means I have it in my inventory. I, I just sold one today. <laughs> Um, I gotta go into it, so I, I, I know I probably didn't have one. Did I sell one today? Maybe I didn't, maybe it was a different guy. But anyway, so we have this, just add to inventory. I know I didn't show up because I sold it on Brick Owl. So anything you sell on Brick Owl is not going to show your sales on BrickLink, obviously. So that's just how it is. Alright, just got back from the post office. Family decided to go take a ride. That store, take the dog and get some treats. And uh, so, I got some stuff at the peel box. This is five of the jungle dragon sets, um, D box with this amazing, amazing hairpiece. So, I'm gonna bag those up, get them out of the way. I'm not sure if I have any more coming yet. Uh, I got three brick hunk orders and a uh, hundred else bricks vlog. Um, he did mention how he got he got like eight orders one day, and I don't know if none of them or one or two only had an order number or anything identifiable on who or what this is coming, where they're they're from. And all three of these packages, it's just somebody's first and last name on the return address. So if this wasn't in here, wouldn't know that. So it is a thing if you're a seller, you should definitely put something in there that says the order number at least, um, or if it's not on your envelope. So. It just helps. It's not a huge deal for me. I mean, I figure it out. I kind of look, I dump it out first and I look, count the lots and then I can figure it out that way. Just gotta solve a puzzle sometimes. It's more convenient to do this. Uh, but we got three orders that, uh, once I finish with the heads, I'm about maybe halfway through, I'm gonna go right to this, get this out of the way, and then, I don't know, figure it out from there. It happened again. All right, we relocated the packages to a safe location. I'm going to rip them open. At, one by one, I'm going to pull it up on eBay and leave feedback as I pull them out, and then I'll do a clip after they're all on the table nicely and then put them away. It's uh, 2 o'clock right now. Let's finish up lunch and those heads. And I just launched my video. Some days I forget to schedule it, so... I can skip these ads, right? So here we go. Next video... Stop numbering the vlogs. And there's all the hits that I'm working on. All right, here we go. A little unorganized, but we'll get through it. So we got four more of these ones, and I have one more on the way. So once I get that last one, then those are on the chopping block. We got two more of these ones, and two more of these on the way. Same with that, once I get that last two. And then these ones actually, <laughs> that's a good one. None of these said damage box, by the way. So if you're buying stuff on eBay, you gotta be careful if you're looking for a good box, which I'm not, so I will buy all day. Anyway, that one's like got a hole in it. Um, so yeah, four of these now, four more of those. I have one more of these coming and then those will be ready to go. We got one more of these. I'm still probably gonna buy more of these in the future. I'm just not gonna part those out anytime soon. And I have one more of these coming. So that was one, two, three, four, five more sets. Actually, it's this one and this one are coming together, one of them. So, four more packages, <laughs> then I'll have all the sets that I ordered and everything will be ready to part, part out except that one, obviously. So, um, that's right, I don't, I don't know, I might part out something on Tuesday, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I have help coming Thursday for four hours that will definitely get at least two sets parted out. Which will be Wonder Woman is definitely one, and then that Tournament of Elements Ninjago anniversary one. But I've got to get these put away. All right. <laughs> Some people call this a pile of shame. I don't do that. I think it's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with Lego sets going to parts to build amazing things. I got the Jungle Dragons down there, and the five more <laughs> in the bags there. So we have five, six, seven. 
eight and nine right now and one more on the way I believe uh, I'm not gonna try to count all those uh, but it's good stuff going on this is the tournament of elements one I think I'm gonna part out soon it has some cool minifigures in there which I, I looked to buy more of these and they, the prices did not make sense um, although you're getting a lot of minifigures so I didn't I probably didn't put my prices how I would price them I think it was just over two two time part out value I try to get two and a half but with that many minifigs I meant I might have to take another look at it because this is another minifig there is these are whatever but one two three four five decent minifigures that um, five bucks each or more I'm guessing I haven't looked them up but Good set. Oh, there's one more piece of mail that you saw from maybe the last video. I, I, I did a post of this, or a, a clip of this. And I recognize the name on the front of the, I got these on eBay, and the name on it is somebody I buy from on, um, on, on Bricklink. So I'm not sure why they're putting them on eBay and not selling them on Bricklink, but at one point I think they had a ton of these on eBay. They just sell them one by one, and I just grabbed the last nine they had. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. All right, so this batch is the less common that they pulled out, I guess. Um, you know, when they had them do the sort, it's my son and his friend. Uh, I just had them do, you know, a broad sort, six different items. Pretty basic. There's Ninjago, we had the CMFs. Anything really good, which I just went through and didn't film it, but. There were two heads that were six dollars each in there um and now i'm gonna basically just sorry battery died oh it's always have a spare one on hand because it's really annoying and you can't do anything so now that one's charging when this one dies i just grab it to be ready uh what was i say, saying um so basically i'm just going to be grabbing these and putting these away because these are things that all pretty much have a spot for i don't really care to keep that and anything that i know that I might build the fig right, right now, or I probably won't need. I'm gonna put over here to list on eBay, or quick link. Quick link. Um, like this is just gonna go in the Arctic. And this is what you do. You keep on stockpiling things in, until you get a ton of them, then you list them all at once. It makes more sense, because I already had, see it had a green head there, the green goggle one. Now I have, I have more in there, and I'm sure there's gonna be more and more and more. So, and eventually I probably will sort out this once I sort through all the stuff over there on my minifig sorting table, um, I might actually go through this myself and take a few things out as well. I don't know. Not today. But I'm going to go through this and then Ninjago and call it a day on the heads. Alright, so I put all those away except all this stuff I'm going to list or try to make a fig. So this, this head, I, I don't ever recall seeing it ever before. I probably have, but I was able to find it. And uh, it comes on this figure, which is 11 people are asking 21 on average it's pretty rare I think this is from is this from a modular oh it's from this thing why is this figure so rare and wanted for that price I don't know uh, but it comes in a couple different actual things so there's this one I was just on and then there's these two I don't know I know I have a black hair I just put it for sale the other day 13 bucks for that uh, this one does not have an average price. It's never sold in the last six months, so I'll probably stay away from that one. What set did this come in? It came in a high-speed train locomotive. Okay, so I think my best bet is this one because it sells a lot more. It's it's a tough call. You just don't know which one is best when you have this one is easier to make because the hair. I could easily make all this. And the torso, you'd think it probably is rare, but I went into my female bin here and I found four of them. Now, it says a thing that the stitching can be different. So this is the one in the pictures. I don't know which one is more rare, but we're going to find out. Change of plans. I have uploaded that hair in other colors. I thought I had black, but I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload two torsos because the price on them is ridiculous. Uh, I don't know how they have them here. Small stitch, so mine's gonna be the small stitch that I'm uploading. 
The reason is I want everything to be as close to the stock photo as possible. We got the two st small stitch, and then we go to this figure has the large stitch stitch in the picture. I don't know if I should state that or anything. Only if it has a small stitch, it looks like people are stating it. So I'm gonna state it as the picture shows. And uh, this one is a good one. It's, I mean, sold twice. The people are asking way too much. That's why it's not selling. So I'll put it right around 12 bucks. And I got these two of them. So that's a good find that those, those, those two heads cre are creating. I would have never looked this up. They just sat there for years, probably. They probably have been sitting there for years. 10, 20, 30, 40 bucks, basically, those two heads just created me. That's what we do with these two guys. Oops. And put them together. All right, they needed dark bluish gray legs, but anyway, there he is. They are now for sale in the USA. Quantity of two. We are right there. We're a penny above the next the other guy, but that's all right. It's uh, two heads. I turn in pretty basic parts that I have a lot of into that. Just so sit here. I can do this all day. Why don't I just do many things? Why? Why don't I just do that? Oh boy, thoughts. All right, I got these orders over my desk. It's probably the last thing I'll do today. It's already 20 after three. Get these all taken care of and call it a day. All right, that's what we created with those BrickLink orders. I think I'm about deleting my wanted list again <laughs> after placing some orders today. And then I still, what I want to do is go through these and just take some out that I'm just not gonna buy the parts for because they're just so expensive now. All the stuff using in the back. <laughs> it's just not stuff I've been getting. That, that one's easy to get. Uh, there's some, I don't know, there's some in here. There's a Count Dooku out the torso. I'll just put his stuff away or put it on Bricklink. You know, one of the two. But anyway, good day of work today. Till tomorrow. All right, it's Tuesday, August 17th. Just got done responding to like 12 offers. And we have 32 items to ship, which is very good. And then we have seven here on Bricklink, which the next thing I'm going to show is just flooring me, how this keeps happening. Two days in a row, so I got 142 lots, so one with 89. Here's the flooring. This is a uh, Brickall. It has nine orders. How is this happening? It's a slow period over for Brick Owl because every day it's beating Bricklink the last few days. <laughs> Not in dollar amount out of it, but still, order wise, usually the orders are generally smaller on Brick Owl. Uh, but still, very good. So, gotta get to work. <sighs> Lord, time to get up, buddy. 6, 12 a.m. And there we got to focus. Brick Owl on the right, Brick Link on the left. I always start with Brick Owl, usually because it's less. I don't know. <laughs> so I just keep that pattern. So same thing every day. It seems like, it seems weird. I don't know. You do the same thing every day, get better results as you keep on moving forward. Here's a brick owl order, all the same color. Legs and torso sand blue. It's two reddish brown pieces, so interesting. All right, just before seven, brick owl is done. All right, got a note on this order. I just wanted to say, I love the vlogs and the Brick Separators podcast. To find that, you guys go to Ralph's Bricks channel. We've recorded five episodes, so if you're new to this channel, go to Ralph's Bricks and we talk about some really, really good stuff. They are great to listen to while pulling 
orders or listing. Awesome. And this order is pretty sweet. I love it because it starts out in the used. It starts out in the used 413. And there's like 13 lots here. So, um, which one is this? We got both of these actually. This one and this one. These are from the Galador stuff that I got. Okay, now I got to go to the used shoe boxes already. So, when you're talking about big bulky parts, that's what happens. My shoe boxes relative to my used parts start right there. All my used parts go over here, and then now they're wrapping up. I have stuff all the way into drawer 730. But from over here, we have to go to here to find the used shoe boxes. USB used shoe box. There's a better way to number them, but it's, it works just fine. Was it four? It was five. So, I'll go grab number five. Number five. Wonder if most of the parts will be in this one. Okay, so we have a one blue body, one dark blue body. Here's the blue one. Here's the dark blue one. And then we oh we got these guys. <laughs> Two of these. So they're not just the Galador, they're getting this too. Um, this is awesome. Two of those guys. Two of the red ones. <laughs> Two of the tan bases. <laughs> Two of the white bases. I think they're all gonna be in here. This one guy. Okay, then he bought in number 12 and 13. So that's it for this. I guess we're just gonna pull this whole order. 12. Just gonna move that up there for a moment. So we'll take 12. And there's two of these. We got the legs too. So two of those. Two legs. So boom boom. And then in 13 is the last thing we got the torso for that girl. What's her name? Allegra. So we'll do a little. This this would be better if I had like even like two open spaces like that where you can just move stuff around without having to put it up here. <laughs> Things like that. Um, and I've seen people do that. It is a very good idea. Uh, just, you know, less space. And just playing this game, moving stuff back and forth, back and forth. So there it is. <laughs> awesome. It's a 13, hey, way, 13 is, lots, uh, 20 I item order for $5.18 plus $3.95 shipping. So awesome. Thanks for the order. I love getting bulky things out of my store. Uh, I don't know why I even listed these guys because they're just what they were not very valuable, uh, but somehow I got some, and they are out the door. All right, we got another order with a message, and that very next one after that, and it's the biggest one of the day, 89 lots. So we're gonna read the message here, and it says, "Zoom in." Love your channel and store. Back for my third and biggest order. Thanks for all you do and keep up the great work. Awesome. Thanks so much for the third order. And yeah, it's a big one. It's awesome. Uh, so we're going to pull the first one. It's, we'll just say 710 for the sake of remembering numbers. Um, i got to get over here and pull this anyway. So drawer number two. Got a part right out of number two. There it is. A lot of the kind of One, two, stuff. three. Alright, here we go. Alright, last part is in a shoe box. Last six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, there it is. 7.30, so... 20 minutes for 89 lots. There it is. 561 items. Awesome. Thank you again for the order and being a 
follower of the channel. It's awesome. Alright, last part for this order. Which is right here. I got this I just put for sale. Red, white, and blue. I like that. So awesome. And there's a note here. They love your YouTube channel. Thanks for the wealth of info on BrickLink and Lego in general. Great stuff. Good luck on going full time and keep up the awesome content. Thanks, Sean. Awesome. Thanks for supporting me. Yeah, going full time was definitely the right decision. He's still figuring things out a bit, but you're definitely making it work. So it's awesome. Thank you. This order has a notice of four orders this morning. Thank you for the vlog. I get the last head out of there and there is actually one issue with this these here I had them inventoried as this which I don't know how that happened but it must have been a minifig I was parting out and I didn't realize they had the wrong legs so I have to refund for that they already got free shipping so there's no refund there but throw that out they'll still send it so in case they need it but I had to refund that and that's the order awesome thank you so much Sold two cassette tapes today. They're already out of here. And the rest I'm gonna take time and just put a bulk listing because I have a second eBay account that I rarely log into and this is pretty much all that's on there. So I just not have anything for sale on there. I thought I was gonna have a separate account to sell stuff that's not Lego related, but you don't get enough traffic. It just doesn't sell. So I put it all on the Pops Block Shop eBay store now. So so what's left, this is full plus more. Um, and I did drop all the prices by $1 or $2 about a month ago. And it sold, only sold two, the two today since then. So maybe I sold one more after I dropped the price, but either way. All right, just got back from a run. And this is what we have in front of us here. <clears throat> so we're gonna part this out. Just got, let's see here. <laughs> we have good instructions, don't have the minifigs, I sold those a long time ago, I, just, I was just making a clip art photo and trying to pull up this, I was real slow. So, huh, Friday, well, after working four 11 hour days, Monday through Thursday, Friday I worked four and a half hours, then we helped mother-in-law move, one load, then we came home for an hour and a half, went to Green Bay for the Green Bay Booyah baseball game. First time there, it was awesome. You could see Lambeau Field in the distance. It's a cool little stadium. It's like elite college players in the Northwood League, Northwoods League. So that was awesome. I just wanted to check it out. It was our last game of the season. We wanted to do fun stuff in August. So, and then on Saturday, went back in the morning after working four hours to help move again. Um, and Sunday, just did a lot of house stuff because we needed to catch up on a lot of stuff. So, needless to say, I was. I'm still a little tired, but I knew if I didn't get out today, because it's going to get hotter in the next few days, I probably wouldn't get out this week. It's great. I take it for granted not having to have set breaks and lunches from my other job that I used to have. Because I can, I, if I didn't get out by 6.30 in the morning running, I couldn't, couldn't go for the day in summer because it was getting too hot. So I got out at 8, 8.15 this morning, and it was like 70 and humid, but not unbearable. So it's awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, this looks like a daunting task. <laughs> Uh, I get the question, I guess I don't really get the question, but I think, wow, you get a lot of sales because I part out UCS sets. I'm not afraid to part out anything. And uh, you get lots of sales. Once you keep adding and adding different sets, you, you know, used or new, you still have the parts for sale. If someone really needs them, they'll buy them. So, yeah. I have a fun job. I got some drawers out to, I'm going to sort these all, these black first before I even get anything pulled up on the computer and then go from there. I don't need to, I don't need to sort down these. I'll just dump them in front of me and grab the parts as I need them once I'm part it, once I get, get all the black entered. So black is dominant here, <laughs> but I'll be happy when it's done. Very happy. I'm going to do my best to organize this as I do it. Um, cause it can be a challenge and you have so many parts and you're just like, where's the next one? <laughs> I don't even think I have enough drawers out, honestly, right now, but we're getting there. <laughs> All right, that took me a good hour. It's 10.25 a.m. now, <laughs> just to start out the black. Um, so I know where, pretty much where everything is. I got to reposition my computer, get this ready here, and then I got these used drawers out, and then I just use my cart for this for now. 
I may grab more drawers if I have so much black. I don't want to overload each drawer with too many black parts. Um, which is, it's fine. I dump them out on that tray down there anyway and pull out what I need, but still it's easier on the eye. <laughs> so let's go. All right, all set, ready to go. This is where I'm going to be entering the numbers. So the first part is, is these. Where are they? So two of these, I'm going to throw them in. U113. Just got to type that in. U0113. Because I do plan on getting over a thousand used drawers, so I always put the zero in front of there. Oops, I did it in the sticker. Talking and not, not even realizing what I'm doing, so we'll stop, we'll stop the camera now. Here we go. So I'll just do the second one. I, I've showed this many times, but if you're new to the, watching these videos, I use my tablet on this side. So then this will tell me just to drop it in number 560, which that part is here. And I have to count and make sure there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is. And I got to find 560, which is going to be hard for me to do on camera, but I'll just, I'll dump them in there and then they'll be put away. I like to always check to, to get an idea so I know how many lots I'm adding. So this is a use set 76023. Obviously I'll take off two, I don't have the minifigs, but it's saying we're gonna add 211, so 209 new lots to the store if I have all the parts. So so far I've done 10 parts and all of the, even the extra parts are in here. And I was told that it was here. Um, and the minifigs are in mint condition that I sold a year ago. So it's, uh, yeah, it says it's gonna get Wow. Well, that's a minifig, so I can't take that number. But even if it goes to like 3, 285, it's definitely great. Outside of the minifigs, I believe these are the prize of the set. They go for almost 10 bucks each used, each, each tire, so nice. All right, I've cleared the black off the table, and it is, I mean, like, exactly two hours in, basically. So uh, I got to pull over the rest. I'm going to take a five-minute break upstairs. Get a drink and a snack. Got two more Lego sets, looks like, in the mail. And then uh, we'll get this done. This shouldn't be too much longer. We'll get it done. Well, I hope these uh, parts have a counterpart because it's nearly impossible. There must be some special way to take them, take this gray thing out of this gray one and then this out of the gold. I tried brick separators, I gave up. So if they have a counterpart, that works for me. Otherwise, I'll try it again. That's funny. <laughs> I put on my Instagram story, parting this out, try and stop me. <laughs> I like that comment. Rest this man. <laughs> all right, this is all that's left. Uh, dark blue gray is gone. Just this, and then I started a few things, and then this is it. Getting close. It's almost noon. Let's go. There's another one. So this is the part. It says 18 on average. That's the people ask for it. I can't get off of there. So, well, hopefully it's it's hopefully it's because it's only in this set and people need that to complete the set. So I don't know. Yeah, I see why the uh, current items for sale average was so high. The minifigs were ridiculous. People are asking for them, like 80 bucks for the Batman, which you should get maybe 40 for. So, but this is very good. My number was more than I expected, and that's without all these parts. Time to go go through these uh, right after this. After I hit this button, adding 1,860 parts in over 200 new lots to the store. That is why I do this. I mean, the reality is I'll get so many more orders from parting this out than I would by selling one complete vehicle, right? And get more money in the end. So awesome! It worked. First item, only one seller here has it in America. 22 bucks. I'm going to put that it's a little off-center because of the price of it. Um, because it is a little off-center, it's not terrible, but it is a little off-center. So this is the second one I'm doing, and all of these I'm basically going to be the lowest price I'm sure in America because there's one for nine bucks in America, and it, there's just not much for sale. There's only three in the world, so it sold twice on average for four, so I don't know, seven bucks? Yeah, this price on this one was really skewed because there's only two for sale <laughs> and people are asking 18 bucks for new so um, but on average they just don't so okay maybe it's not skewed because $15 new but it's only sold once 
It's just nobody's gonna buy these for this price. If I drop mine to about 14, if I'm able to get that apart. But the, the problem is this one, okay, there's a lot of these for sale. It's really weird. Um, but they're really cheap. So I don't know what to do with that. But anyway, the last part, I'll figure it out later. I'm gonna put all this away and uh, hit, hit my desk and do some minifig stuff. So goodbye, Tumblr. Hello, new owners. I gotta sync the stars as well. Thank you.